What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Kevin Hart has come under fire for saying something that I believe that many of us uh, believe to be true, and that is that the Egyptians were black. The ancient ones were black. Okay. Now I'm not um, a person that is well versed in this, but that's what a, a, a lot of us believe. Okay. And I can believe that just based on where Egypt is located. We can look at the areas very near Egypt to find out what are the people that look like them. Okay. Let's go. So next to Libya, which they're black Libyans. And then you have Algeria. Cool, right? That's north. But look right below. Look right below. Sudan, Eritrea, Chad, Cameroon. These places, right? Look below Libya, Niger. Look below Al uh, Algeria, Mali, Mauritania. Now, if you look at places, you know, like in Europe, Poland's next to Germany. They don't look so different. Why is it that Egyptians look so different than those in Sudan? And Sudan had a very his a big history, which you know they're black, but still South Sudan. Those people look much differently than those do in Egypt. So clearly there was there must have been some kind of Arabic invasion. That's my theory on that. But let me say this. He has a show there in February 2023. And here's what the Arabs are saying in Egypt. One guy says, you aren't welcome in Egypt. Egyptians aren't Africans. We are the real builders of the civilization. No one else. The Afrocentric is just a lie. They're liars. Egypt is our land, not the Africans. Okay. And the 10 to 15% of black Egyptians, people feel are the direct descendants of ancient Egyptians, but they want to take credit for this, right? Even though you don't see, you see um, these pyramids, you don't see them anywhere in the Arab world. You see them in Sudan. You see them close nearby, right? But look at the, but look at the, look at the, look at how the people are sticking together on this. And see, that's what the blacks got to understand something. The blacks got to understand when you're dealing with other people, they don't even care if you're right because they put their people first. Hmm? They do. Egyptians are going to stand together even though they're supposed to be in the African Union. Look, they'll tell you, we're not even African. We're Arabs. Now, all of them may not think like that, but that's what you're going to hear, right? But do we have that same unity with our people? No. That's why these people can compete on the world stage. That's why in Africa, even though they're big, they were colonized, the, the Egyptians were able to have the one of the best militaries in Africa. The better ones in Africa are always the Arab ones. Egypt, Algeria, Morocco, Libya, always have the best because of their mentality. And Sub-Saharan Africa can never develop like them because we don't put our people first. And they're willing to cancel him behind this. Look, bro, take your stuff somewhere else. You want to come over here and say that we not black, that the, uh, we not the ancient people, and they could put that. They could put that because it's power. He's supposed to be there in twenty twenty three, and don't think that th they don't get rowdy out there. They can assassinate you, bro. Like they not playing, and we need to understand that this is the people that we are up against as blacks. And I'm not saying that we have a problem with Arabs or, but I'm talking about the mentality. 
They respect their people. You know, I, I, I heard you brothers talking about Rosa Parks was a fraud and Martin was a fraud. You'll never hear nobody in, in, in the Arab world talk about their people like that publicly. Not so many. It don't happen. They respect their people. They have a us versus them mentality. And that's the only way you can win in life. You can't win with the, oh, well, the others are better than our group. They telling them, you're not welcome here. You're trying to say that we, we didn't create this history. We are not the, uh, uh, we're not the, um, the ones who created all of this. Oh no. You're not coming here with that mess. You're going to come here and respect what we're doing. And that's power. Even if you don't like their position, that's how folks stick together in the other parts of the world. We don't. That's why they have things and we don't. That's why they own their economies and, and, and we don't. Why do you think they can come into, can you, let me tell you something, brother. Can you go to Egypt and start a business? Like, like they can't come in the black community and, and do stuff? Absolutely not. You can't even go over there and talk to their women. I, I never hear you brothers talk about, you know, because Egyptian women are beautiful, right? Y'all, y'all mentioned so many other places about where you can go and get a wife. None of y'all never say Egypt. I wonder why. You already know better, don't you? You say the DR, you say Jamaica, you say Colombia, but you never say Egypt because you already know what's going to happen to you if you're trying to go to Egypt with that stuff, right? They're going to take, they're they, they, they going to, they going to, <laughs> you're not even going to come back and all, all, all your body parts are not going to come back the same. Don't even think about that. You know that. We all know that. We all know that as fine as Moroccan women are, we never know. We never, we never go into Morocco with that, right? Algeria, we already know better, right? But they can come into your community and deal with your women. I used to always talk to my friend, my uh, some buddies from Saudi Arabia. I said, let me ask you this, man. You guys complain about racism in Poland. But you guys come over here and you date the Polish girls all the time. But now these Polish men can't come to Saudi and deal with your women. He says that's absolutely true. But that's the way that they want to run things. That's their mentality. If they want to let us come over here and date their girls, that's their problem. But no Polish man coming over to Saudi and dating nobody. Period. He didn't say the period start, but he said, listen, that's how they want it. That's on them. But we're here. We pay our money. They, they don't look down upon us dating their women. And you see so many uh, Polish women going back to Saudi and becoming Muslim after interacting with Saudi Arabian men all the time. Because that is their mentality. That's why they have what they have. And we don't. These are the kind of people you competing against every day. Immigrants in America have that mentality, man. You don't even have no respect for your people, but they have for theirs. How are you going to be somebody like that? You can't. And Kevin Hart better get his mind right. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again. Another episode of The Celebrity Drunk. Appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe at the bell. We're out.